These new ChatGPT deep research agents are insane. I'm about to show you something that's going to blow your mind. OpenAI just dropped their new deep research agents, and trust me, this is a game changer. Want to know how ChatGPT can now do five hours of research in just 15 minutes and do it better than most humans? I'll show you exactly how these new agents work, what they can do, and most importantly, how you can use them to grow your business starting today. Plus, I've got some crazy examples that will make your jaw drop. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency Goldie Agency. While he's helping clients crush it with AI and SEO, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. The deep research agents OpenAI just released are absolutely mind-blowing. I've been testing them extensively, and I can tell you this is going to change everything about how we do research and analysis online. Think about spending hours digging through scientific papers, market research, or competitor analysis. Now imagine getting all that done in minutes with better accuracy than most humans. That's exactly what these new agents can do. Today, I'm going to break down everything you need to know about these agents, what they are, how they work, and most importantly, how you can use them to grow your business and save countless hours. Let me tell you why these new deep research agents actually matter. Think about having a super smart friend who never sleeps and knows everything on the internet. That's what these agents are like. They can find any information you need in seconds and they make it super easy to understand. You know how sometimes you search for something online and end up with a hundred tabs open. These agents fix that problem. They do all the hard work for you. They look at lots of websites, pick out the important stuff and give you clear answers that make sense. You might be wondering, how do these agents know so much? Well, they're trained to think like super smart researchers. They know how to find the best information and check if it's true. And they can even show you pictures and graphs to help you understand better. Here's something wild. These agents can handle any kind of question, whether you want to know about business, science, or even fun stuff like sports, they've got you covered. It's like having a genius friend who knows everything about everything. And wait until you see how they put all the information together. It's not just random facts. They make everything connect in ways that totally make sense. Even if you're new to a topic, you'll get it right away. But here's the really exciting part. These agents are getting smarter every day. They learn from every question they answer. That means tomorrow they'll be even better than today. And next week, even better. It's like watching a superhero get stronger and stronger. Let me break down exactly what makes these deep research agents special. First, unlike regular chat GPT, these agents can actually browse the internet and analyze hundreds of sources in real time. They don't just rely on their training data. They actively search and verify information. Let me show you a real example from OpenAI's own testing. They had the agent research data about iOS and Android adoption rates across different countries. Regular chat GPT gave basic stats, but the deep research agent dug through current market data, language learning trends, and mobile penetration rates to create detailed country by country breakdowns. It found specific stats like Japan having 69% iOS adoption versus India's 4%. It analyzed language learning interest like how 70% of Americans regret losing foreign language abilities. And it tracked decade long mobile penetration changes showing how India jumped from 5% to 46%. That's the kind of detailed current market intelligence that would take a human researcher days to compile. But here's what's really powerful. It doesn't just dump data on you. It analyzes patterns and gives actionable recommendations. For that iOS research, it identified the best markets to target based on both platform adoption and user needs. Another example shows how thorough these agents are. When asked about button design in user interfaces, the deep research agent spent time analyzing actual usability studies, accessibility research, and user testing data across different demographics. It broke down how different age groups interact with interfaces, how cultural factors affect design choices, and what makes interfaces truly accessible. This isn't just surface level research, it's the kind of comprehensive analysis you'd expect from a professional research firm. And what's really interesting is how it leverages multiple tools. These agents can browse and analyze web content, process uploaded files and data, create data visualizations, run Python code for analysis, generate detailed reports with proper citations. Now, let me be real with you for a minute about the limitations of these deep research agents, because there are some important things you need to know. These research capabilities are currently pretty compute intensive. That's why OpenAI is starting with pro users first, up to 100 queries per month, before rolling out to plus and team users. They're also working on a faster, more efficient version that will give users higher rate limits, while still maintaining quality. Also, they can still hallucinate facts. While it happens less often than with regular chat GPT, it's still a risk. OpenAI admits this directly in their documentation. The agents might sometimes mix up facts or make incorrect connections between pieces of information. Here's something else that could trip you up. These agents don't always know when to say, I'm not sure. When they find conflicting information or rumors online, they might struggle to tell what's authoritative and what isn't and they often present everything with the same level of confidence, even when they should be more cautious about certain claims. There's also the time factor. These deep research queries can take anywhere from five to 30 minutes to complete. 
That's because the agent is actually browsing the web, reading through sources, and compiling information. While that's still faster than human research, it's not instant like regular chat GPT. And here's a big one. These research capabilities are seriously compute intensive. Right now, OpenAI is limiting it to just 100 queries per month for pro users. That's not a lot if you're doing heavy research. Plus, users and team users will have to wait for access. And there's still no timeline for users in the UK, Switzerland, and the European Economic Area. The formatting isn't perfect either. You might notice some issues with how reports and citations are formatted. OpenAI says they're working on fixing these minor glitches, but for now, you'll probably need to clean up the formatting yourself. Cost is another factor to consider. Since this feature is limited to pro users initially, you're looking at a higher subscription tier to access it. And given how compute intensive it is, it's likely that higher usage limits will come with higher cost. But here's the good news. OpenAI is already working on solutions. They're developing a smaller, more efficient model that should provide similar quality results while being much faster and more cost effective. This should allow them to offer higher rate limits to all paid users. The key is to use these agents as a powerful research assistant, not as your only source of truth. Double check critical facts, verify sources when accuracy is crucial, and don't rely on it for real time or rapidly changing information. Let me know in the comments if you've run into any other limitations with these research agents. Understanding these constraints helps us all use the tool more effectively. Let's recap a little bit. Today we are talking about the new ChatGPT deep research agents. They are powerful tools that use advanced AI to search the web, check facts, and give you clear and detailed answers. They work in a step-by-step -step way, planning their research and making sure that the information they provide is both current and trustworthy. They can handle a wide range of questions, from simple queries to very technical problems, and they present the answers in a style that is easy to understand. I want you to picture this. You are working on a big project, maybe a website or a marketing campaign. You have many questions and you need quick, accurate answers. In the past, you might have had to spend hours or even days searching for the right information. But now, with these deep research agents, you can get everything you need in minutes. It is like having a super smart friend who is always ready to help you out. And the best part is, this friend is available 24 seven and never gets tired. How cool is that? Imagine asking a question like, what is the best way to boost my website traffic? And instead of getting a bunch of vague ideas, you get a well-organized answer that tells you exactly what steps to take, along with the research to back it up. That is the power of these deep research agents. They take the guesswork out of research and provide you with clear, actionable insights. And the best part is that they are getting better all the time. Listen, the marketplace is drowning in information right now. Every second, more content, more experts, more noise. But... Here's the reality, 99% of it is worthless. These research agents, they're like having a team of Navy SEALs for your brain. While everyone else is getting crushed by information overload, you're extracting exactly what matters. No fluff, no BS. Think about it. How much is one great decision worth to you? These agents don't just save you time, they give you leverage. They hunt down the 1% of information that actually moves the needle. While your competition is paralyzed by choices, you're executing with clarity. This isn't just another tool, this is an unfair advantage. The kind that separates the players from the spectators, the kind that turns confusion into conviction. And in business, conviction prints money. People are burning their most precious asset, time. These research agents, they're like having a full team working for you 24 seven, while everyone else is stuck in the weeds, manually digging through endless articles and data, you're focusing on your highest leverage activities. Here's the brutal truth. If you're still doing all your research manually, you're playing a losing game. The winners in today's market aren't just working hard, they're working smart. They're delegating the time-consuming tasks so they can focus on what moves the needle in their business. This isn't about saving a few hours, it's about buying back your life, getting leverage. While others are drowning in information overload, you're executing with clarity and precision. That's how you win in today's market. Let me give you specific ways to use these agents to grow your business right now. Customer research. Before you launch a product, feed your agents your target customer profile. Let them dig through forums, reviews, social media, finding exactly what keeps your market up at night. No more guessing what your customers want. Competitor analysis, have them track every move your competitors make. New product launches, price changes, customer complaints. This isn't just data, it's ammunition for your marketing and positioning. Market trends, stop getting blindsided by industry changes. These agents can monitor news, patents, regulations, anything that could impact your business. While your competition is reacting, you're already three steps ahead. Content creation, need to write emails, social posts, sales pages, have your agents pull winning examples from your industry. Study what's working right now, not what worked last year. Product development. Before you spend a dime on development, have them analyze similar products. What features do people love? What do they hate? What's missing in the market? This is gold for your product roadmap. Here's the key. Don't just use them for general research. Give them specific tasks that directly impact your revenue. That's how you turn these tools from a nice to have 
into a profit center. Remember, the winners in business don't just have better information, they have it faster. While others are stuck in analysis paralysis, you're already executing. Tell the AI exactly what you want. Don't just say, tell me about marketing, but say, show me the current trends in online course marketing with real numbers. And here's the best part. You can do other work while it researches. It might take 15, 30 minutes, but that's way faster than doing it yourself. This isn't like old chat GPT that just knows old stuff. This new tool actually goes out and finds the newest info. It's like having a super fast research assistant. Want to know another cool way to use this? You can upload your own files and the AI will read those too while it does its research. But I'll show you exactly how to do that in my next video. Now, a lot of you have been asking about Perplexity AI, especially how it stacks up against our deep research capabilities. And look, this is a crucial question because choosing the right tool for your research needs can literally be the difference between surface level insights and game-changing analysis. Listen, there are two types of AI research tools in the game right now. And if you're not using the right one at the right time, you're leaving money on the table. Let me break this down. Perplexity. It's like having a smart intern. Quick answers, basic research, gets you what you need in seconds. Perfect when you need fast facts or surface level insights. But here's the truth. It's not going to give you the depth that moves markets. Now, deep research. This is like having a PhD researcher on your team. When you need someone to spend 30 minutes diving into every detail, cross-referencing sources, and building you a comprehensive report that could influence million-dollar decisions, this is your weapon. Here's the brutal reality. Most people are using these tools wrong. They're using perplexity when they need depth, or waiting on deep research when they just need quick facts. That's like hiring a Ferrari to deliver groceries, or using a tuk-tuk for a cross-country trip. Let me give you the playbook, use perplexity, when you need instant answers. You're doing initial research, you want quick market insights, you're verifying basic facts, deploy deep research when you need comprehensive analysis, you're making big money decisions, you need detailed technical breakdowns, you're building strategy docs. But here's the secret most people will miss. The real power comes from using both. Use perplexity to scout opportunities fast, then let deep research do the heavy lifting on the ones that matter. This isn't about which tool is better, it's about knowing when to use each one. The winners in today's market aren't the ones with the best tools, they're the ones who know how to use every tool in their arsenal at exactly the right time. That's how you win, that's how you scale, that's how you dominate your market. Now you understand the power of AI, here's what I want you to do right now. First, if you want to actually make money with AI, not just play around with it, join my AI Profit Boardroom. It's where I teach entrepreneurs exactly how I built my seven-figure agency using AI, and I mean exactly, no fluff, no theory, just what works, links in the description. Second, if you're serious about growing your business, book a free SEO strategy session with my team. We'll show you the gaps in your SEO and how to fix them. No pitch fest, just pure value. Links in the comments. And while you're down there, grab my free AI SEO course. You'll also get access to my private community of over 3,600 AI SEOs and 50 plus free AI SEO tools I personally use. These are the same tools that help my agency land client after client. Here's the thing. This new deep research tool is just one piece of the puzzle. But when you combine it with everything else I'm teaching, that's when you start seeing real results. I read every comment and I'll pick the most requested one for my next video. Thanks for watching.